Hey everyone, Kirito here for part 2 of episode 2, No Doors, No Windows. This one will cover how to get a window to open and close by touching it. I think that's about it. Well, that's exactly what you'll learn today here on the... So to begin, first we're going to need the window building kit. And to do that, you need to go first into your watch, go into the store, hit enter store, go into inventions, type in hashtag, don't forget the hashtag, builder's guide, and hit enter. When you go in, you'll see builder's guide window kit. I already have it, but just hit get and you'll be able to get it. You won't need the crowbar for this one. All you need to do is delete the box on the outside. Unless you want to keep it, then you can just move it. Now, take out your maker pen. And like I said, you can either move the box aside and keep it, or just delete it all together. And what you'll see inside is exactly what you'll need. A window in two separate pieces. The main piece right here, and the piece that will go up and down right here. Then, you'll have a variable chip a subtraction chip that does not equal and a multiplication along with your piston chip and trigger volume measured exactly for the base of the window. So what we're going to do first is get our trigger volume in place. For that we're going to hit rotate and then open up the palette, go to the settings and make sure it's set to 90 degrees. That way we get it nice and flat there, and just all we have to do is turn it. Then when you get to it, just click it, slightly turn until it's flat like that. If it's not doing that, your snap might not be on. And what you'll probably see is something like this, and you won't be able to set your rotation snap. That's fine. If it's out that way, you can either hit undo rotate or just hit snap. Make sure it's at 90 and it'll bring it back to a 90 degree perfectly flat. Next, we're going to move in the place. I suggest bringing it down to 1. Usually I bring it down to 0.5 because I'm super picky, but 1 is just as good. Next, I'll move it right to the bottom of our window right there. And then, I'm going to move my piston tool into place. Now for the piston tool, I want to set it to the top here. You can set it to the top or bottom either way, but this basically gives you an idea of how far it's going to move up and down. Now your kit has it automatically configured to 0.6. You could do it a little bit higher, a little bit lower if you want to open it up full or not. I personally just like open it to about here. It gives it sort of like a realistic view. I'm just open it that way. Now we're going to do the fun stuff of wiring. All of your variables are set to zero. And all we're going to do now first is create our toggle. As you remember in the part one video, toggle is created by the does not compare and looping it. So first we're going to hit wire, not recolor. Loop it. And we're going to attach our trigger volume to it just like we did before. Next, we're going to have the comparer that does not equal, wire it to our minus sign. So that way when it's on, it makes it one. When it's off, it makes a negative one. Now we need the one and negative one because that's going to be our speed. One is going to bring it up, negative one is going to bring it down. We already have the distance in, so we don't need a chip for that. And next, we're going to attach this to our multiplication, as done. Finally, we're going to take our variable chip, attach one to our on-off switch, and attach our green to our multiplication, which is going to be our speed. And then we're going to attach that to our speed. Finally, before we put in our numbers, we're going to attach our piston to the part of the window 
that's going to be moving up and down. And to make sure that our trigger volume stays in place where it is and moves up and down with it, we're going to attach our trigger volume as well. Now what's going to happen is the trigger volume is going to move with the windowsill. So that way when it moves up, you hit it, close it, back down, up and down. If you don't do it, it's just going to stay on the bottom and that's going to be where you have to open and close it. It's more realistic to do it with the windowsill, open and close it, rather than you know just hitting the bottom of it because then it looks you know, more like a gameplay button. Now, we're going to configure our variable chip, which basically hit configure, click your variable chip, and we're going to set red to 1, which means it's going to be on, and our green is going to be our speed, so I think about 25 should be good. You could make it slower or faster depending on your taste. Somewhere between 15 and 25 is usually where I go for, for stuff like this, depending on size. Now we're going to freeze everything. These are gizmo, our chips, our trigger volume, the window, and finally the frame on the outside. Okay, now let's test it. If everything works properly, this should just open perfectly. And there you go. Now it's going a little slow, so it could always just amp it up, but I suggest doing that when the window is back down. If you mess with things, sometimes it resets and it'll just keep on going up. So let's bring it back down. We'll hit configure again. Figure it, I'm gonna say double the speed. So we're gonna do 50. Now, hopefully if everything's going well, your window opens. Well, that's all for now. Kirito, out.